I had such a bright future ahead of her, and I knew she was going to go very far. And, um, you know, these, these monsters took that opportunity from her, from our family, of watching her. And um, I just want people to remember, I know this is a very high-profile um, case, but um, she was still my firstborn. I was a teen mom. I fought for her. I'm 15, so 27 now, I'm still fighting for her. The mother of Jocelyn Nungare talking about her 12-year-old who was found murdered here in Houston last week. One of the two men accused of killing her is set to find out his bail just today, and the other man found his out bail out yesterday, $10 million. CW 39 Houston's Kara Willis joins us now from the Criminal Justice Center downtown. Good morning, Kara. What was the reaction from the family yesterday? Good morning, Seth. The family was simply heartbroken yesterday after the court ruling for the first suspect. Jocelyn's mother and grandfather were choked up on words thinking about someone that's so precious to them that they lost far too soon. And what his her grandfather would say about Jocelyn is that her smile was contagious. She was goofy even as he was to describe her. Sadly, now they are fighting for justice after two suspects, Franklin Pena and Johan Jose Martinez Rangel, took her life, leaving her body in a creek. Yesterday, Pena faced a judge in court and received a bond of $10 million. One big topic in this case, though, are questions surrounding the suspect's immigration status. According to lead prosecutor Megan Long, Pena arrived here from Venezuela back in May, mid-May, so there's no connection to Harris County. They asked themselves several questions. Do they have family here? Do they have any ties that would ensure that they would show up for court? ICE is playing a big role in those discussions that will help determine their fate. Jocelyn's grandfather, Kelly Colbin Avarenga says his granddaughter was innocent, which was what went into Jocelyn's judgment when these men followed her. She was just innocent. It shouldn't have happened. And how do we stop it? It's by asking our leaders to change the system. Immigration needs to get redone. Avarenga says he's thankful for the judge's decision. He trusts that the suspects aren't going anywhere and that they're where they belong. He prays his heartbreak never happens to anyone else's family. There is a GoFundMe page that we have linked on our website at CW39.com. If you'd like to make any donation to the family during this time of mourning, the second suspect in the case will face a judge this morning at 9. Kara Willis, CW39 Houston. All right, Kara, thank you for covering this very important story live there at the courthouse.